it had to start in Los Angeles because this is where this camera was created. When I started building the camera or concepting it, I'd walk up and down the LA River and take pictures with my Polaroid and all through downtown. And I have every spot, every location already mapped out. And I had to wait almost two years to come back and shoot it with the time machine. up doing a photo shoot for a magazine in Australia and they got us a permit to shoot in the Los Angeles River like to have our pictures taken and when we got in there I told the photographer I'm like look we're taking a picture in here if you want to capture what we're doing that's cool but now that that truck's in here we're gonna shoot where are we LA River and I've come down here and shot digital photos but to get that truck down in here and to do it we've always stood on that bridge and just laughed and said one day we're gonna bring the truck down in here and it's here now. It's on. <laughs> dream about something and the next thing you know you're standing there and it's happening you're like is this for is this real and it happened and it worked after we shot our LA River photo we knew we wanted to shoot portraits and there was this homeless guy that had been coming by where we were staying and he was really nice and friendly and I saw him one morning and I ran out of the house in my underwear I'm like hey 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 can we take a photo of you and, and work with you and he was really nice he's like yeah of course I'll, when do you want to do it I said 11 o'clock tomorrow and 11 o'clock on the dot, he showed up right there ready to work with us. He was very receptive, he, he took direction. He also ended up giving us direction. I shot one photo and he's like, oh no, that's not me. What do you think of that, Andrew? Your foot. It's not as fun as you should. I'm like, okay, what do you want? And he's like, this and this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> we ended up working really closely together and uh, we got a portrait and I think he had never seen himself photographed or a picture of him like that and he, I know he really liked it. How's that? That's the chill. That's the chill. That's the chill. I like it. The next person we shot was a guy named Jason and I didn't expect Jason to have the personality that he did based upon the reference photos and what I had seen of him and it was really cool. He has all these tattoos and this and he looks like a pretty serious guy, you know? And we took the picture of him all the tattoos are gone in this and it kind of resembled that his inside that he was super cool and down to earth and this and it like took his like wall down or I'm not sure what it was but it was really interesting. The next person we shot was a girl named Mariel and I was friends with her on Facebook through mutual friends but I never met her and I was scrolling through after the silver and light video came out and she posted it onto her wall and she wrote like these beautiful things and I and I was just like I'm gonna ask her if she wants to have her picture taken by us in the morning to shoot her I forgot a piece to my lighting equipment so I went over to a rental house that was about a half a block from where we were staying to rent some camera equipment and I met David Baker he said what are you guys working on and I showed him the video and immediately he's like I gotta come see the camera so we brought him over showed him the camera and then he told us come to my place to my studio, we're gonna set you up. Today I came here to rent a little tiny piece. And they said, bring everything you have. We wanna be involved. We're gonna help you make this photo today. And we're here and we have five people gaffing the shoot for free. It's really crazy. So it, it started with us, me and Mariel, and then it spread to 20 person crew within five hours. And that's the power I'm starting to notice of this project. With the resources and the means that we have, there is no possible way we could have took that picture of Mariel like that. And not to mention that they added their own lighting tricks and techniques and know-how to our project, and we're gonna walk away with all that information, and that was just a gift from a stranger. 
Are these guys help, helping out quite a bit? Yeah, this is a really crazy moment. We have everyone helping, like we have a full studio hooking us up for just to make a cool image. And that's something that doesn't happen every day. The Oscar Loretto shoot is really a big deal to me. I mean, I look at Oscar like how I look at, you know, a famous person, a celebrity, to me, because to me, he's a hero in my eyes. And, and I wanted his picture to reflect that and to represent him in that way. I mean, Oscar really put himself out there. You know, he's like, here's everything I've ever been made fun of in my life or picked on or people look at me weird or they, maybe they don't want to shake my hand. And he put it all out there and said, fuck it, this is me. And that is what courage is. This trip's just been incredible. I mean, I didn't expect a lot of this stuff to happen or to work out the way it did. And we spent all last year shooting photos. And in two weeks, we've shot more photos than we shot in that previous year. There's a handful of people in LA that helped us and we, could not be able to do a quarter of what we did without their help. This is definitely what the camera is built for. I mean, the camera is big and it takes big pictures, but it's ultimately to bring people together and it's working.